All right, so we're moving on to Cries of the Lost 2. This is submitted by Kai2Hacks. He submitted Cries of the Lost, I guess, 1 <laughs> for Mapparino 2019. Uh, pretty straightforward macro map. He put it together very quickly, and I believe this one was also put together very quickly. So I guess maybe, Kai2, that's just going to be your thing. You're going to spend, like, three three hours on the night of the, the deadline putting something together. That's fine with me. And like I was saying before, you, you said... Let me just share this in case people who were watching the VOD didn't see. He said, I wouldn't call myself a contestant. <laughs> I just threw some shit together. I'm sorry for the pain you're about to suffer. Look. I don't know if you all saw, uh, yesterday we were hanging out in the voice chat on the Discord and Butane shared a map he was working on with the, the minerals and the gas placement and all of that. That, that's pain. But, it's Mapparino, right? I'll put a certain amount of time into your map, and if it's a nightmare and I can't beat it, we say, look, I put, I put some time into it, and we gotta move on to the next one. That's fine. It's no problem. And, and same with the amount of time. If you think, you know, your map is trash, if you, as long as, if you had fun making it, and I can have a little bit of fun playing it, that's what the that's what the event is for. That's what Mapparino's for. All right, you could put in you know thirty days, sixty days, ninety days into your entry. More than that, you could put in an hour. I, as long as you enjoyed the time you put into it, just save often. Okay, so let's get started. Cries of the Lost Two. After the destruction of Outpost MK five six nine, Captain Cole captured the Cerebrit and a small portion of its brood and was ordered to bring it to a secret research and weapons development facility. While Cole protested and wished to instead kill the Cerebrit for the, for the destruction it has caused, he nevertheless carried out his orders. The Cerebrit was experimented upon. A machine was grafted into its body, which ended up cutting its already weak psionic link to the second infant overmind. The loss of this connection was causing it to slowly die. However, the machines, the emotions hooked to it, were able to keep it alive. He waited patiently for its moment to escape. Until. Until. Captain Robert. All right, everything's going exactly as planned. They do not suspect that their supply cargo ship was taken over. Val, once we're inside, I'll upload the virus to temporarily disable their targeting systems. After that, I'll contact you. Make sure to take out their comm tower. Understood, Captain. We'll be living like kings after stealing and selling Emotion Tech on the black market. Steal any Emotion Tech you can find. Little do they know there's a captive Cerebrit. What's up, Dracon? Thanks for joining us today. Start! Orders, Captain? Bob. Here. Pirate, pirate, pirate. Mary. Captain Robert. Okay. Well, we just started. Save. So, Captain Robert, we have a medic, so Captain Robert, you're gonna be our main jam. Bob. We have no resources, so is there a point in having an SCB? Maybe he is what steals the artifact. So the creator basically said that this map is bullshit. I'm paraphrasing. So there's going to be a lot of gotcha moments. Captain Robert's got three base armor. That's fine. That's fine with me. You really do not have a lot of units here, do you? Whoop. Okay, we're fine. By the way, how's the sound for the game? I've been playing UED AIP. I just want to make sure that it's all... All the all the settings are proper. Because that's a custom mod. It have, have different Finally. sound settings when you launch the game through a different executable. Wait, we made it through a thing. We'll save. A beacon. Three shots to kill a marine, even with concussive damage. Sounds fine. Great. Virus uploaded. All right, Val, you're up. On it. What? Oh, that's the comm tower. That was the comm tower. I get it. It was named Side Disruptor. But okay, so they can't they can't call for help if I'm understanding correctly. Let's move on. By the way, what's what stats are on the on Bob? A good amount. I, we should be using him. All right, that's that's he's a combat SCV. We're good. We're good. Oh, yeah. 
Virus uploaded. Shoots tower with missile. I'm going to guess that we shut down their anti-air defenses or something, which allowed him to go in and do that. I will save after every encounter. As I was advised to. Uh, can we just cloak and kill the ghosts? I'm all over it. Cause that's I mean the ghost is really the only thing that can do a lot of damage to me. Oh no. Oh no. Well Oh yeah, he could take a beating. What the hell is that thing? That's what you become when the Zerg capture you instead of killing you, Bob. Yeah, that's disgusting. But what's it doing in this place? Most likely they're experimenting on him. The data isn't here. Let's move on. There's another way I could have gone as well. This this Bob SCV is, is incredible. Get in there, Bob. Dude, he's he's... He is an actual human god. Does, does Mary... Okay, Mary does have a... Does have a an energy. The problem with Mary is nothing can heal her. So we gotta be careful that we're not just... Throw, oh, God. We're not just gonna throw her into the... Into the fire, basically. Again, I could have gone this way as well. So maybe I... Maybe I should backtrack. I'm not sure. Ghost report. Taking it slow and steady, boys. Finally. Nope. Page, he can take it. I just don't want the fire bat splash hitting him. Just don't draw in too many units, that's all. Bob. Get the fire bat. <laughs> he just one-shots infantry. You have to auto-attack with him, though, because as an SCV, he, he doesn't automatically try to kill stuff. He'll run away. All right, we're doing good. Gotta be careful with, with Mary again. If she takes damage, she can't be healed, so be extra careful. Go get him. Here, hit the fire bat. Boom! Dude, he, he's massacring them. 55 damage fusion cutter. Y'all never know, knew what you were missing until until it, you have it right in front of your waking eyes. <laughs> should I backtrack and go the other way? You th you think, or should I just keep keep pushing forward? What do y'all What do y'all think? Yes, I am. Yeah, still waiting on those gotcha moments. I don't know, man. This SCV is so strong. I, I'm not, I'm not scared of anything. Uh, this other way. Maybe that door was locked. I just didn't approach it. Yeah, give me a macro map where I can make these. Oh, yep. Again, based on the game, I gotta change this every time. Call the shot. Two ways. Two ways to go. Stop! Minefield ahead. Tread carefully. But which, which, which way is the minefield? Okay, so we're going to save and we're going to experiment. Dude, go get him. Boom. 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 Draw him away from the turrets. Okay. Now we back him up and heal him up. So this is the minefield, I guess? Oh, the SCV doesn't trigger it. Electromagnetic locks are on. We'll see about that. Let's find the power generators. Oh, okay. So this was locked from the other side. Got it. So we need to get the SCV through because the SCV doesn't trigger the mines. Maybe we can find a way to disable the mines. 
without sending my infantry through it? I don't know. We killed a bunch of the, the pre-placed stuff here, so... We might have to... We Again, maybe, uh, either we find a way to disable the mines, or we have to figure out a route through the hallway that doesn't instant kill all my stuff. Well, there's the power generators. Come to me. Dude, go. 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 Ah! Ah! No! Somebody died. <laughs> just, just somebody. Somebody died. I think we're supposed to do this just with Bob. So we go forward, we kill some stuff, we backtrack, we get healed, etc., etc., etc. So you guys stay on hold position so that you don't accidentally walk into the mines when I'm sending Bob back to get healed. Somebody died. Uh, hello? Here. Bob, uh, he massacred them. Get back here. Get back here. Wow. Come on. It's the the ghosts do a lot of damage to him because of the concussive damage. Okay, let's leave. Four armor? He's a god. I'm pretty sure this is how we're supposed to be doing this, by the way. I can't be sure, but I think I think we can I can I think we can get the Goliath too. Uh, uh mm -mm. nope. No, oh, he stopped! <clears throat> Why did he stop? SCVs were not meant for combat. <clears throat> don't don't rush. Come on, what what is this? <clears throat> we take risks. Here in, in Map Arena. Half health. Nah, dog. We're gonna dive right into him. Go! I'm hitting I'm, I I'm telling him to attack. Again, this is not what SCVs were meant for. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it, buddy. Again, SCVs. This is not what they were meant for. Then we come back here. We hold position. Did one of the... How did... I guess the Goliath was just hanging out on the other side. Got wind of my units. I imagine this is how you're supposed to do this. Going through with your other infantry would just get completely roasted. Come on! Bob! Well, actually, that was really good. That was really good that he got lured all the way back here. Okay, we're going back in. It's not a far distance. SCVs are quick. This is fine. You can kill the mines. Do we have a detector? Oh, I guess as we, yeah, as we inch through, as they unburrow, we can kill them. Or we could just do it this way. Come to me. Dude, he like hovered into that one and killed him. Just kill the ghosts. Again, the ghosts are what's doing the majority of the damage, and then probably the Goliaths. Who needs to kill spider mines when you can hover over them and then solo it all with a combat SCV? Oh, yes. Got him! Uh-oh. Oh, no, they also have incredible workers. Oh, no. Oh, you monster. We're playing UED AIP again, I guess. This is for remastered, yes. Alright, heal me up. I'm gonna burn through that energy, but this is worth it. Dude, Bob is a god. Petition to put Bob, the SCV, the ultra-powerful SCV, on every single map that exists. So I'm really excited to lose to an infested Terran, let me tell you. Uh, actually, I should probably just... I mean, he's got energy. We're not using it for anything else. He can be seen by turrets. You know what? Let him, let him kill each other. 
I've got no horse in this race. Uh, yeah, you know what? Just let them let them come to us. Absolutely no reason at all. All right, get in there, Bob. Lead the way. Blast them. You have to you have to meticulously tell Bob to attack things, though. It's just the the nature of the way SCVs function in this game. I'm a little concerned about my medic energy. We're, we've made good progress. Again, there's gonna be there's gonna be an infested Terran. Um, the infested Terrans do like 500 damage. Bob might be able to take the blast. I know he has less than 500, but they don't. It's like they do damage in like a cone around themselves, and it's more or less based on how far away you are from them. So we may or may not be able to properly um, absorb a hit with one of these people, depending on how. Uh, if if and how we can ju oh, excuse me if and how we can juke them a little bit again just let them I I think maybe we want to come in here get him Bob Bob your only job is to attack let's go. That infested tear in there, probably. If I had to guess. Go get him, dude. Finally, we found the data. Downloading it now. Done. Let's return to the ship. I'm waiting for the live for the swarm. I'm waiting for it. I'm really on the edge of my seat here. Oh, that's no infested tear. It's Pantopasol. Okay. Man, this really is... Fr I mean, we, we could just sacrifice one of our marines, I suppose, right? Or is it literally everyone has to survive? Everyone. Every pirate must survive. The Zerg killed every single... Let's, let's scope it out a little bit. Well, it's going to take him a million years to kill an Ultralisk, so that's a problem. But you know that Bob can take on an Ultralisk. Do it, buddy. Dude, look at him go! He's killing it! Just tagging an Ultralisk straight to the face. Oh gosh. Okay, I'm gonna keep saving. Man, revealing the infested Terran like that, that, uh, that really gets you on the edge of your seat, let me tell you. Door unlocked. So that's probably the door out, if I had to guess. Bob versus Ultra. <laughs> also, something about him just being named Bob. I don't know why. I really enjoy it. And it's also very fitting for original StarCraft. Again, we're, we're Hicks in space. We don't have fancy... We're not Valerian, all right? We're Bob. We're Lester. It's the Zarglin, Lester. Smaller Titan Zerg. Yes, sir. Well, they can be out this far unless... Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, again, if we can scout with Captain Robert a little bit, if we can find the super special infested Terran, or we can be seen by floor turrets, that's fine too. But there are no other enemies down here, which means that we can kill the floor turrets with Bob. There it is. There it is. No, get out of the way! Oh, God. Nope. Yes! Dude, we've done it. We've done it. 1,500 damage. Finally. Ha-ha! <laughs> We're gonna save. Thank You know what? Sometimes the StarCraft 1 AI, the, the, janky, the janky way that units behave, sometimes it works in your favor. And Captain Robert, Captain Robert has his chance. Captain Bob, he's a Bob himself, has a chance to be a hero, even when... We have Bob, the combat SCV, on the team. He overshadows everybody, but not today. Not in that one moment. When Captain Bob had a chance, again, to be the hero that we really needed. Yeah, that was definitely cheesed. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed of it. I don't know how else we would have done that. I think we, would have, we could have left Captain Robert cloaked where he spawns. 
It would have killed me at least once, and then we would have left Captain Robert back where he spawned, triggered him, and then we could have killed him. So it would have worked one way or another. Bob, go. I'll queue up the attacks. Dude, look at him go! Actual human god. Yes. Captain Robert. Door unlock. Oh, that makes sense. Run past the turrets. Yeah, if we would have killed the turrets, we would have been especially screwed. But I see I see what you mean. That definitely would work. We've done it. Oh, yes. Get back to the dropship, boys. There's going to be another one. Let's just save, just in case. Well, this this was a nice this was a nice experience. This was just a nice little. We'll be swimming in money once we sell this. Great job, everyone. That was a, that was a treat. That was a nice breath of fresh air. And uh, I, I did get to cheese the infested Terran. I see what you mean, though, again, running past the turrets. Or we could have, again, cloaked Captain Robert to kill him as he ex exited the area. <clears throat> yeah, the medic running out of energy. I mean, th the map is just long enough that you can ration the energy. No problem, I think. That was, I mean, that... <clears throat> I don't have super... I don't have a lot to say. Look at that 84 APM. We're coming in hotter than usual. Big J Barino breaking 80 APM. More than one action a second. Yeah, that was... I mean, it was... It was... I have nothing... I have nothing to say that was like, it was amazing. But I also have nothing to say that I think it was like, bad. I think it was just a nice, very concise installation map. I think that's great. Sometimes those are just a nice little a nice little fit in the diverse set of entries we have. Sometimes you stick one in a campaign if you want to tell a little story. We learn a, a little bit about these mercs and how the Emojins have captured a cerebrate. It's neat stuff. We're getting drip fed a story. Once per map arena, we get an expansion to the Cries of the Lost cinematic universe from Kai 2 Hacks. <clears throat> Oh, the, yeah, the medic energy. You might have to... I don't know if you can actually change that. Maybe you have to mod it in some way. I'm not sure. SC1 looks surprisingly decent. Well, we are, we are playing on the remastered version that was released uh, fairly recently. A couple years ago. Well, all right. What'd y'all think? I see some people had already left the fe their feedback. Yeah, the, it, like, the fact that you can't sacrifice a single pirate to that thing is also pretty rough. The, the, you know, everyone must survive. Is, uh... Kaitu asked... Kaitu Hacks sent me a message a bit back. Kaitu, are you still here? Sorry if I missed you. I'll, I'll try this. He said... Load his map and advance with the medic only. You can use power overwhelming. Let me do this real quick. It won't take long at all. The next map is going to be Outsider Z's. It looks like Kaitu may have already left. Unfortunately. But I'll, I'll link him to the VOD. Oh, that was the wrong map. That's what we just played. Kaitu's is... Cries of the Lost 2. Okay, let's see what this is. I'm not sure how far in we should go to see what this is gonna... We're gonna do for us. See you later, Jericho. A Twitch wedding? Oh, I guess social distancing, right? I don't even remember what that beacon did.
I love this Earth medical armor. It may have cost a small fortune, but it's worth every damn credit. <laughs> now that you mention them, why do you think they've come here? They took over Korhal just a few days ago. Mex was extremely lucky when the Zerg took care of the Confederacy in his stead, but it seems that luck ran out. I don't know, they may be looking for something in this sector, or they've come to enslave us. Ha! The moment they see that shiny new white armor of yours, they're gonna shoot you on the spot instead of making the slave out of you. That's a good point. I should die this... I should die this after we loot this place. Okay, so like a... I'm not sure if maybe we we're supposed to see that if she takes a, a certain amount of damage or like she gets hit a certain number of times. Uh, she makes a comment on how she's in a, a medic suit which is made by the UED and then they talk about the UED a little bit. It is funny with power overwhelming on, you're right. Interesting. Well, that's a neat little thing.